Hello and welcome to Franchising the Next Generation, a programme from the British Franchise Association and ITN Productions. I'm Natasha Kaplinski. Franchising continues to go from strength to strength as more people than ever discover the benefits of the franchising model. With an annual contribution to the UK economy of over £17 billion, it's a highly profitable area to be involved in and is a sector that is attracting increasing numbers of women and young people. In this programme, we'll find out what's drawing them in. Coming up. Sowing the seeds of success, the business coaches helping companies thrive. Giving a lift, the driving service that offers much more than just a ride to the shops. And... The swim school that's teaching its students to be safe and happy in the water. So, how does the franchise model work? Franchising is a simple relationship between two parties. The franchisor, who owns the brand and the business system, and the franchisee, who contracts to run a copy of that business in a local area. Franchising is defined by four common terms. The brand, which will be both owned and protected by the franchisor. The franchise system, which will be proven and transferable. The support that is given to the franchisees, not just initially, but throughout the term of the relationship with the franchisor. And if there is no ongoing support, it is not a business format franchise. And finally, the franchise agreement that wraps up the whole relationship that will be a comprehensive document setting out the rights and obligations of both parties. The franchisee will pay an initial fee for the right to access the brand and business system and then ongoing management and marketing fees, ordinarily structured as a percentage of their turnover for the support that they receive. Franchising is a great way for individuals to get into business for themselves, but not by themselves. They will be a local business person, but with the backup and support of a larger organisation and a network of other like-minded individuals behind them. The business world is competitive and it can be a struggle for some companies to thrive. Action Coach is a franchise dedicated to helping business owners achieve sustainable profit growth using sales, marketing and management strategies. Nick Thatcher has this report. Ready? From the moment your business is up and running, Go! you can't afford to take your eye off the ball. And you need to remain agile to avoid the obstacles to stay on course for growth. At this dog training and daycare centre in West Sussex, they've worked closely with a business coach to expand their offer to customers. So it now includes this on-site shop with its own branded products. In my head, I'm full of these like crazy ideas and things I think will do pretty well. But I didn't really have the guts maybe to, to make that decision to do those sort of things. So hence Action Coach. I met with Steve, I felt he wanted to understand my business and I definitely wanted to do business with him. And I think just by getting to know me and my business, I, it created that trust. And just things like guarantees, you know, guaranteed to improve my business, you know, or I would have to pay him anything. And, and that in itself, you know, it, it's a no-brainer. It's a win-win. Let's talk about the the subscription box. So where are we with it? What do we want to do marketing-wise? Steve Mullins meets Jeff regularly to discuss his expansion plans and he told me how Action Coach can add real value to any business. We're there to give you focus, we're there to hold you accountable, we're also there to help train and educate you on some new tools, some different ideas, some different ways of thinking give you a different perspective, but most importantly there to support you as a business owner and support you to get the growth that you desire. It's been incredible over these last few years since being an action coach. I think the first year it was 20 or 30% up. The second year it went a bit further. Last year it was 70% up. And that's 70% up in profit on our previous years of growth. So it's been incredible. And for more than 20 years, action coach has served thousands of businesses and their owners around the world and in every category imaginable. And that's fantastic. 
This model of business coaching is the brainchild of Brad Sugars, and it's his vision and reputation which has seen Action Coach expand with franchises in nearly 90 countries, with plans for many more. Franchising suited our business because of our international expansion and also because in the local market I wanted to see someone that understood the business locally, it was in connections with local people, you know, that really understood that market. And, Having ownership at a very local level means that the level of service our clients get is very high. Here in the UK, candidates wishing to become an action coach must meet strict selection criteria and undergo comprehensive and ongoing training if they're to qualify for an exclusive territory of 10,000 businesses to market into. We're looking for people with an investor mentality that have leadership, coaching skills, been in management roles, looking to build a serious team of coaches, looking to build a serious business. So it's people that have an appetite for business, love learning, love developing themselves and our role and responsibility is to support them on that journey and give them all the help they need to be able to grow. And any action coach will tell you it's not just about wanting businesses to grow, whether that's their own or their clients, it's also about changing lives. It's amazingly fulfilling because when you grow a business, you change the life of the business owners and their families and you see those happy faces and you get lovely comments from wives and children about how their, their dad or their mum is a new person and the person they always wanted. Predominantly I work with the trade, so I work with builders, plumbers, scaffolders and my thing is to get dads back at sports days. So when my clients tell me they've gone on holiday and turned their phone off or they get to bath their kids in the evening, that's what it's all about. For me it's given me a whole new lease of life in terms of my personal growth, my ongoing learning journey and doing what I want to do which is serving serving clients, help them get great results, build better businesses to get to their goals. Action Coach has also achieved Smith & Henderson's coveted five-star franchisee satisfaction award status seven times. It recognises everything from training and support to value and rewards. You have a choice. Do I have a go out there and do this on my own in a non-franchise way or do I choose the best franchise in the world for this type of franchise? In our network, we have a thousand business growth specialists. As business coaches, what do they love doing? Helping business owners succeed. So you'll have that team around you. That's a really cool thing that, 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 that we offer in our white collar professional franchise. The fact that you're surrounded with people that love helping their teammates, love helping business owners succeed. There's so many benefits to being a franchise partner with us, but if you're part of a large organisation, that team definitely helps you in your growth. You've got to be a part of a team that is wanting you to succeed and pushing you to succeed. And it's not just about achieving success for franchise partners and their clients, it's also about celebrating it. And award ceremonies like these recognise how those partnerships can make a real difference for a coach and their clients. We're very much in a community about seeing the positive and using that to inspire us, put the fuel in the tank to take the next step. We encourage our clients to celebrate their success and to celebrate with their own staff as well so that everyone is inspired to achieve more. Back in West Sussex, they know all about the difference success can bring. It's been another record-breaking week in terms of takings in the shop. The expansion here has also created an extra 20 jobs, which in turn supports the local economy. And by helping to make this happen, Action Coach has proved to be this business's best friend. When a loved one needs to travel from A to B or requires companionship for an appointment or an outing, it can be hard for families to always be there for them. The Driving Miss Daisy franchise offers a driving and companionship service which is growing across the UK, providing support for families and making a big difference to people's lives. John Gibson reports. Good morning, thank you for calling Driving Miss Daisy. Nikki speaking, how can I help? When customers call Driving Miss Daisy, it's no ordinary transportation service. I came home one day and found this little blue leaflet on the map. And uh, it sounded rather intriguing. Uh, 
care and, and a taxi and companionship. And I thought, well, sounds like just what I need. <laughs> so uh, I gave it a ring. Hello, Hi, Peter. Yeah. All right. How are you? Yeah, very well. We would speak to the customer, find out a bit more about what they're after and divert them through to their local franchise. Peter's a regular client. There we go. Today, it's a trip to the shops. I'll just pop the trolley in the back and then I'll be with you. OK. Instead of just driving Peter to the shops, his companion for the day, Susie, will stay with him. That's the driving Miss Daisy difference. The magnolia's looking lovely. Yeah, fantastic. Best it's ever been. We have a wide variety of people who call, really. We'll have the clients themselves, we'll have um, family members, carers, sometimes outside organisations, like um, maybe a local social service company. Oh, everything's looking rather green round here. Yes. This is good. Quite often it starts with somebody just wanting to find out whether or not we can take them to doctors, dentists, hospitals, that kind of thing. Once they've used us and they find out we also are a companion service as well, quite often that then uh, progresses through to we can take them on holidays or we can take them for days out, take them to theatre trips. So we'll literally fit in whatever the customer's after. Is it these ones you like? Yeah, they're a small packet. Okay. Established in Canada and New Zealand, the Driving Miss Daisy franchising model is now spreading across the UK. We made the decision that actually we were going to purchase the UK master licence. So our motto, where family when family can't be there, is, is really at the heart of what we do. And we do become indispensable aids to families in terms of looking after either elderly parents or youngsters and children who may need special support. The fact that somebody is, is now getting into their 70s, 80s or 90s doesn't mean to say that they've stopped wanting to live their lives and, and getting up to mischief. And so we enable all of that to happen. The feedback is amazing. So if you want to be doing a job where you get thanked every day, it's the perfect job. For me, the idea of working in an organisation that can be in the community and helping people, that for me was the big pull. Um, and then when we looked into it further and discovered it was a franchise, found out a bit more about it, then for me, I'm not an experienced business person. This is a, I've, as a teacher, I'm coming into this without that experience. So actually, it works perfectly because I've got that backing and people who I can call on. And that's the beauty of the franchise. We're not looking for anybody that necessarily has a lot of business experience. What we find with franchising is that many people will come to it because they've always wanted to run their own business and never had the opportunity to in the, in the past. Um, so what we're looking for in individuals is that balance between the drive and determination to build a successful business and the caring nature and personality that we need to deliver the Driving Miss Daisy service to our clients. For clients like Peter, Driving Miss Daisy is about much more than getting a bit of help at the shops. It's given him back his independence and has transformed his life. I'm not a self-assured person generally, I'm a bit sort of shy and, and reluctant to talk to people sort of thing. But when I'm out with the daisies, I feel everything's free and easy, you know. I, I, I'll enter into conversations with people that I wouldn't have done normally. It's um, really changed my life, no doubt about it. If I'm not out on a trip, I'm organising two or three through the year that I've suddenly come across. The Bournemouth Air Show, I want to go there. The Bowington Tank Museum. Um, there's a show called Abathonics coming on at the Albert Hall. It's sort of given me the chance to actually fulfil my life streams, I suppose you'd call it. And as demand grows, so is Driving Miss Daisy, helping clients and their families get the most out of life. There we are, that's another shopping trip sorted. Yeah. Knowing they're in safe hands. Learning to swim properly at a young age is vital to keep children safe in the water. Angela's Swim School has introduced a programme called Swim Stylers, which gives both children and their parents a unique and exciting way to track their swimming journey. We sent Julie Collier poolside to report on a British franchise with international aspirations. Angela Wilson swam competitively at the highest level, being selected for Great Britain at the Olympics and competing in the Commonwealth Games for Scotland. Her passion for swimming led her into teaching and starting her own business called Angela's Swim School. I wanted to make a difference because I felt children were not happy and were not really learning to swim properly, so therefore they weren't enjoying the water 
and staying safe, which for me was really very important. I believe swimming is the secret to improving lives and changing lives. That's what swimming did for my life. So I wanted to share that with others and see other people benefit from the same experiences that I had had in my own swimming career and my own teaching career. 48% of primary school children are unable to swim the national curriculum requirement of 25 metres unaided. Statistics like this have driven Angela to franchise the business to extend the availability of her teaching beyond the local area. I enjoy being a member of the British Franchise Association. I've learned a great deal from them and they've been amazing support for me throughout this journey of franchising and becoming a franchisor. I see it becoming a global swim school. That's what I have in my heart, that I want to see this not just throughout the UK, but I want to take it around the world. Angela's Swim School recently introduced the Swim Stylers programme to teach children how to swim with the correct technique, as well as learn valuable life skills to help improve their physical and emotional well-being. Sarah Harrison's son was taught to swim by Angela. She was so inspired that she herself has now opened her own franchise and is benefiting from the unique Swim Stylers programme. Swim Solar program is fantastic. It's bright, it's colourful. Um, I think the characters the children love, they can relate to. It's very simple, it's effective. It's lovely for the children to work through the stages with our badge program, which encourages them to stay with us term after term through the stages of, of our swim stylers. It's just really rewarding. And what was it specifically about Angela's Swim School that made you get involved with this company? Just the passion that Angela has for her swimming methods, how much she wants children to swim. It just brushes off, certainly on franchisees. We are the Swim Stylers! The Swim Stylers are inspirational characters who encourage children to learn to swim a mile. I think it's a great programme because it, a lot of you know, kids get scared of the water or you know, don't think it's a very fun sport but by having this, you know, this animation I can see that they're really trying to bring in the fun for the kids. Swim stylists are really important because they help me to swim properly and to keep safe. I love to swim my arm bands on. Angela taught me to swim from when I was a baby up until club swimming and then I moved to be a level two swimming teacher for Angela's. And now you're looking at Angela's swim school becoming quite a big part of your future, aren't you? Yeah, I'd really like to, once I've finished my A-levels, franchise it out into Limerick in Ireland, make it global and have bigger franchising opportunities. One of Angela's clients is Commonwealth swimmer David Ebanks and his son George. For David, choosing the right swim school was a very important decision. Being a swimmer, I felt that throughout my swimming career there was too much focus on too much distance, too many lengths, and not enough focus on actual uh, individual technique. I think the swim style program is really cool, and I think it's something that swimming needs. It's been really good, really positive. The swimming teachers are lovely. After each lesson, we find out how the swimmers are getting on, and particularly my son George, uh, how he's progressing um, week by week. Angela's dream is that by franchising her business, more children will enjoy their swimming and learn the safe way with swim stylers. It's more than 40 years since McDonald's opened its doors and today it's more than 1,300 restaurants across the UK and Ireland serve more than 3 million people every day. It's a success story underpinned by a franchising model that's become as synonymous with the brand as the iconic Big Mac. Franchising is in our DNA. It's a really large and exciting part of our business. We've been franchising in the UK since 1986 and to have the franchisees acting as our eyes and ears, giving us feedback on what's important to them in their communities is really helpful for us as we put together our business strategy and our, and our vision. And that ensures that we deliver in the right way for all of our customers right across the UK, day in and day out. McDonald's continues to grow its franchise network in the UK and Ireland. Each franchisee is asked to make an upfront financial investment. If they're up for the challenge, the rewards can be worth it. The majority of restaurants have a cash flow of between £100 and £300,000 or higher per year. 
So a franchise with McDonald's is an extremely appetizing proposition for any individual who wants to own and operate a restaurant business. And McDonald's franchisees come from all walks of life. Having restaurant experience is not essential. The training and support they receive is designed to set them up for success. Sarah Lloyd is one of the company's newest franchisees. She's a former retail franchisee who now operates a McDonald's restaurant in Wiltshire. McDonald's is a fantastic brand. It really invests in its people. And that's not only the, the crew and the team, it also invests absolutely in the customer. From an innovation point of view, it's so forward thinking in terms of technology and to develop and move the brand forward. It also has amazing links with the community and it's something I personally feel very passionate about, that it really wants to embed the business and the people in its local areas. Taking on a McDonald's franchise is a long-term, hands-on commitment. Franchisees are required to lead from the front and they're trained in every aspect of the business. Paul Toner is a former accountant who also owned a recruitment firm. Now he operates three McDonald's restaurants in Gloucestershire. There are hundreds of thousands of small metrics that you've got to understand and there's a big sophisticated supply chain behind that and a lot of systems that underpin the business. So the training really is getting that experience in the restaurant where you're working around the whole kitchen, around all of the stations there. You're then working your way up through management and then you're understanding how you run the business. And that ensures that when you do get your own restaurant that you won't be making mistakes at your own expense and you'll have credibility. And when a franchisee is up and running, experienced consultants support them to develop their restaurant teams and enhance the customer experience. Rima Mavani is from a corporate background in IT and sales, and her McDonald's franchise is in London. When I started the process, I liked McDonald's. By the time I finished, I fell in love with the brand and I knew this was definitely for me. It's a people business, it's a dynamic business, and that's what really drives me. If you have happy people, they will give that energy to their customers and give great service. If customers get great service, guess what? They keep coming back and that will look after the bottom line. I started working with McDonald's back in 1986 as a crew member in Eltham High Street. And McDonald's has changed an awful lot in that period of time. Customers tell us that they want a lot more convenience when they visit a restaurant business. And we know that they want a better McDonald's, not a different McDonald's. So we've been working very hard over the last couple of years in areas like self-order screens or table service, but also a mobile app as well. And more recently, with home delivery. And this is a golden opportunity for new franchisees to come on board and share an ad success story. The Big Mac, the fillet of fish even the drive-through concept were all developed by franchisees working within the McDonald's framework. A franchise is without doubt a big commitment, but it can also be a recipe for success for ambitious people hungry to enjoy a slice of one of the world's biggest brands. Thank you for watching Franchising the Next Generation. We hope you've enjoyed this programme. All of our reports are available to view on the British Franchise Association website. The details are on the screen now. From me and the team here, thank you for watching. Goodbye.